Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the tech news update for Monday, June 20th, 2016. And today in our tech news update from a very hot Montreal, HP battery recall. There is a voluntary uh, recall that HP has started for batteries. Uh, there's uh, a kind of a, a few models, well, kind of a lot of models of laptops that have faulty batteries that can overeat and uh, maybe even catch fire. So the page for the safety recall, I'll post the link in the description below the video. So look in the description for this page. But uh, basically this is something that was started June 14th. Uh, there are some concerns. If you want to know if your battery is affected, there's a download utility that you can actually check out if it works. If you don't want, you can also go down the list. So here you see all the list of the different models and the battery types. So you see the battery types, the battery barcode, which ones are affected, and all the computers models that are affected here at the bottom. So there's a lot of models as you see. Uh, so check it out. I'll post the link in the description below the video. Uh, very important if you've got an HP computer check out if your battery is in this recall. If it is, follow the instructions on how to get a replacement battery for your computer. Acer has add security breach. If you're an Acer user and you've bought the computer from Acer directly or you have a Acer account and gave a lot of personal details, well, it seems that they've got hacked and the thing is is that this hack means that people even had their credit cards information stolen which is very sad you know this is always what I think when we go on a website you know companies should never store our credit card information I think it should be that every time we buy we have to enter it and they don't keep that information more than a few days after the purchase uh, this you know shows why it should not be the case that they should not keep our information so Acer has been hacked if you have an Acer account uh, and if you've purchased on Acer website make sure that you check out your credit cards and um, of course uh, your account details make sure you uh, change the password of your account and uh, if it's the same password everywhere change it everywhere Microsoft UK is avoiding taxes apparently. Uh, 100 million pounds of unpaid um, taxes. Basically, uh, Microsoft says, well, no, we're not cheating or anything. We're just using some specific rules. But the UK is presently checking out the details of this, saying, well, maybe it's not such a, uh, you know, legal thing. It may be something illegal Microsoft is doing. We're not really sure, so uh, there's a, of course, investigation to check out. You know, all these big companies, they all try to stop and not pay the taxes in different countries they are in. Incredible. They're making billions, but they don't want to pay the taxes everywhere. Um, you know, maybe laws, taxes um, should be kind of clearer and, you know, avoid all these loopholes that companies can use. Well, today is the day of security breaches. Go to my PC has been attacked. If you use go to my PC for remote access, we're not really sure how it happened. So we're not really sure. Is there a flaw in the code of go, go to my PC? Is the company that makes go to my PC Citrix uh, affected? Did they get hacked? Uh, is apparently some kind of very sophisticated attack. So if you have a go to my PC account, first thing you need to do is change your password. Make sure you have a good password. Uh, pretty much that's the Citrix recommendation. Make a very good password and change your password is very important. So if you're a user of go to my PC, please change your password now. Well, it seems that um, in the strategy to make people use Microsoft Edge, they've actually been uh, saying that Microsoft Edge browser uses much less battery than the competing browsers. And they even put online a video where they actually show that a computer running Microsoft Edge 
has much more battery life when surfing the web than a computer running Google Chrome. So that's an interesting side of Microsoft Edge. And if it's true, it means it does give you a much uh, more interesting um, reason to basically use Edge because if you're on battery, then using Edge will help you um, extend that battery life. So uh, you know what, that actually piqued my curiosity and uh, I've, I'm kind of thinking of a little test that I could maybe do with uh, comparing um, Edge, Firefox and Chrome. Uh, I'll see how I'm going to do it. Uh, maybe using like you know the same websites and surfing for uh, 30 minutes or an hour, checking the battery drain, and uh, that 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 could be a very interesting test, uh, by the way. And finally, we have news that Windows 10's anniversary update. Of course, everybody knows it's coming in July, um, but we have news that the code lock. That means the moment where the code, the official code that will be released, where there's no more changes. Uh, would happen around July 12th, which is very, very near the release date and shows you that they've really changed their mentality of how it works. Uh, previously, you know, cold lock would happen months before the uh, official release. Uh, now it seems only a week or two before the release. So uh, it would seem, according to internal uh, documentation, that July the 12th is the official date for the cold lock of Windows 10, meaning that after Windows d July 12th, um, Windows 10's anniversary update will be pretty much uh, the code, the official code released to everybody. And of course, no release date yet. It's going to be interesting to see that. So this was the tech news for Monday, June 20th, 2016. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and hopefully you enjoy our videos and will continue watching us on this channel. Thank you for watching.